Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Coach Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single week no matter what sport you're betting on. And happy holidays to you and happy new year coming up. And if you're not already a member, please join and you'll have all the access to the VIP club section with all these uh, great tools to help you make your picks more successfully. So we're going to take a look at some NBA games set to play on Saturday, December the 28th. We have a lot of interesting matchups in store, so let's get started. And scroll down through here to our first matchup that we want to take a look up. The Toronto Raptors and the Boston Celtics. So here this is an Atlantic Division battle. The first place Celtics will take on the third place Raptors. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups this season so far, Boston has won both meetings, 118-102 on Christmas Day and 112-106 back on October 25th. One at home and one on the road, both as favorites. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that Boston has the edge at plus 26 to plus 21. Notice that Boston is burning hot at the moment and Toronto is average. Toronto has lost their last two after winning their previous four. Boston has won their last four after losing the two before that. If you're considering the over and under for this game, you will see that Toronto is playing in games trending under the red line compared to the blue line. Boston is playing in games trending under as well, the red line below the blue line. So betting the under is a wise choice in this one. If you look at the stability between the two teams, look at the upward trend. Both are very stable, plus 17 for Boston, plus 18 for Toronto. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that both teams are consistently performing according to their favorite and underdog status. So, but being that Boston is at home, they have the edge in this one. Boston is very tough, and I believe they should squeak a win out in this one. So, pick Boston for this one. Next game I want to take a look at. You see there's a whole bunch of games in, on tap, a full slate of games. And the next one is the Philadelphia 76ers and the Miami Heat. The 76ers are coming off a very impressive home win against Milwaukee. They were up by as much as 27 in that one. They won by 12, but they looked very impressive beating the top team in the NBA. The Heat are first in the Southeast Division and have won the last meeting between the two teams. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you will see that they won 108-104 in Philadelphia back on December 18th. The 76ers blew out Miami in the first meeting at home, 113-86 back on November the 23rd. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, right now you will see that Miami is at plus 27, Philadelphia is at plus 23, both on an upward trend. You can see that both teams are burning hot. Miami winning five out of their, or excuse me, four out of their last six, and Philadelphia winning their last three after losing their three previous to that. If you look at the totals predictor, you will see here that Philadelphia is playing in games trending well over the line at the moment. And so is Miami. So this should be a very high scoring affair and betting the over is a wise choice in this one. Let's take a look at the stability here. Both teams are at plus 17, showing they're both very stable at the moment, meaning again that they're performing consistently according to the favorite underdog status. Miami will be a side home favorite, but this just feels like a game where you could see an upset. Philadelphia is riding a high after beating Milwaukee. It could be they could have everything together right now. I think that Philadelphia will win this one in a very tight game, so I'm going with the upset. The next game I want to look at as we scroll down through is the Detroit Pistons and the San Antonio Spurs. Detroit comes in to play struggling fourth in the Central Division. They have a dead status and they have lost their last five. San Antonio is third in the Southwest Division. They are average at the moment, and you will see that they have. One three out of their last six, alternating wins and losses during that time. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, in the last meeting, Detroit blew out San Antonio. Look at that. They won by 34 points as a home favorite, but I don't expect it to be quite that way this time around. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you'll see that Detroit is at plus 7. San Antonio is at plus 12. How stable are the two teams? Again, relatively stable, not quite as stable as the last couple uh, games we saw with the teams, but this is pretty stable for San Antonio at plus 10, Detroit at plus 8. 
So what do I think about this one here overall? Well, I don't see, again, like the kind of performance that Detroit put up before. I expect the Spurs to take care of home court and win this matchup. Scrolling down through here, we have a couple more games to take a look at, both involving Los Angeles. Here's Los Angeles Lakers and the Portland Trailblazers. The Lakers are ice cold down. Look at this. They have lost four out of their last six. Portland is average at the moment, and they have won uh, four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator. The Lakers here at plus 24. Portland is on the rise. They were at plus seven just a little over a week ago, and they're about up to plus 17. So they're playing much better lately. Head to head, the Lakers took care of business 136 to 113 as a road favorite back on December the 6th. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable are the two teams? Los Angeles is quite a bit more stable at plus 17, but Portland's still showing moderately good stability at plus 11. So, what I'm seeing in this one is I don't think that the Lakers will be able to do what they did the last time, particularly because of LeBron James could miss some time due to a groin injury. I think Portland will uh, get back at Los Angeles, who is struggling at the moment, and I think they will take the win on uh, secure home court in this one. So I want to take a look at one more game here, the Utah Jazz and the Los Angeles Clippers. The Jazz come in second place. Uh, in the Northwest Division and take on the Clippers, who are second in the Pacific Division. If you look at the head to head matchups, the first meeting, the Clippers won 105 94 back on November 3rd. The last meeting, excuse me, and the time before that, October the 30th, you see that the Jazz won 110 96, so the teams are even so far. The power rankings indicator Utah, see that plus 22. The Clippers are at plus 19, and you can see that they have gone going in opposite direction. Just a little over a week ago, or about exactly a week ago, you can see that Clippers were at plus 29, and Utah was at plus 18, so tides have changed. And you can see this with burning hot down status for Utah. They have won five out of their last six. Clippers are average status, and they have won three out of their last six, alternating wins and losses. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see here that. Uh, Utah is playing in games trending over the line, as is the Clippers, so betting the over and expect a high scoring game in this one. Volatility oscillator, you will see Utah is at plus 16, Clippers are at plus 14. Both teams are pretty stable at the moment. I think that the Clippers will have the edge playing at home, even though they aren't playing as well lately as the Jazz are. I think that they'll take care of home court and prevail in this game. So that's it for all the games, but I want to make sure that you take a look at the top performing automated systems. If you take a look at this, you will see it's very easy to, to do here. All you do is you know, select the sport that you want. You can select basketball, so we're doing basketball at the moment, or any sport you're interested in. You can take a look at the profit time, the profit method, and so on and so forth. You can scroll down through here. You can see the charts. You can see the, the name of the system. You can look at uh, based on return on investment, average deviation, trust percent, and most important for most people is the profit. You just take a look at the profit. And again, you can scroll through these and take a look and you know, hopefully it will help you and pick the one that you think fits best for what you want to do. So anyway, that's all for this time. And again, if you're not already a member, please join up and you can win big every single time. Happy New Year 2020 and let's have a great year ahead. See you next time.